Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecturer in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a basic bar chart using Tableau software. Now, I'm going to use a mix of Excel, uh, Microsoft Excel and Tableau software in this video. And this will allow me to take a simple Excel file, such as the sample that you see in the cutout here on the left hand side. Uh, this is the GDP measure per capita for uh, each of the 28 countries in the European Union. Uh, I could use any data, but this is fairly straightforward data here. And I'd like to be able to create a bar chart that you see on the right hand side with colors and uh, columns and country names and numbered labels and so on. I'd like to be able to take this very, very simple data and add it to Tableau. So let's first take a look at the Excel spreadsheet that we would actually create and uh, add our data to first. And you can see here, for the purpose of this video, I've just got two columns of data. The first column, I've got the country name. And in the second column, I've got the uh, GDP, gross domestic product per capita, measured in a PPS, which is purchasing power standard. And you can see I've got different numbers for each country. And I would like to illustrate this in a bar chart um, in Tableau. I could, of course, do this in Excel, but uh, uh, this video is about showing you how to do this in Tableau. Now, the good news is I don't have to do anything to these data here, uh, change or format anything. Uh, Tableau will recognize this data straight away. So let's see about opening this file in Tableau software. So I'm going to switch over to Tableau desktop. And I have no file open here at the moment. And the good news again is, is that uh, Tableau is very, very good at recognizing uh, Excel spreadsheets. So I'm going to open the spreadsheet as if I was opening it in Excel. So I'm going to click on the file menu, choose open, and then you browse to where the Excel uh, file that you have is located. Mine is located right here in this folder. Uh, the file is called Basic EU Data GDP. It's a spreadsheet, and all I've got to do is click on open. Now, Tableau will do some checks before it brings the data into the desktop. You can see uh, that uh, in my spreadsheet, I had just two columns of data. So in the uh, lower panel, half of the panel here, we can see that I've also got two columns with my countries listed here down the left and my GDP per capita measures listed here on the right. Two things to watch out for. In the uh, country column here, you can see that there's a little globe I'm just highlighting right now. Uh, that tells us that Tableau has recognized that these uh, words that you see here are country names. And the GDP per capita is represented by a hash symbol, which tells us that these are numeric values. So uh, if these were different, you might like to change those. Another thing to check here in the top is um, that the fact that my spreadsheet has just got one worksheet. It's called GDP data. A good idea to click on the cog that's here so that you can check to see uh, if you have uh, field names in the first row of your spreadsheet or not. And I do, so I'm going to check that as yes here. So now I'm happy with the way a Tableau has imported my data, and I'm going to click on the brown button here in the center, uh, which is a go to worksheet. So when I do this, now my, work, uh, uh, my Tableau desktop has changed a little bit. Remember, my spreadsheet had just two columns in it, and these are separated into dimensions and measures. So if we look over here on the left-hand side, we can see the country column is listed here under dimensions, and just in the bottom half of this left panel, we can see that uh, GDP per capita has been brought in as a measure. Now, there are a few other things in here which we don't need for bar charts, such as latitude and longitude, which you would use, for example, if you were creating um, a map. So now I want to uh, create the bar chart. And in order to do this, I need to get these two values, country and GDP, into the center over here. And so in order for Tableau to recognize that, I'm going to pick up with my mouse the country uh, dimension here on the left-hand side. And I'm going to drag this up to the columns bar here at the top of the desktop and drop it in there. And you can see that the country names are listed as we go across here. And in the rows bar, just in an underneath country, I'm going to pick up the GDP per capita and drag that and drop it into the rows and we get a bar chart created straight away. By the way, it doesn't matter whether you put country in the rows uh, um, or and some in the columns, it doesn't matter which way it goes around, the bar chart will be listed the same. Now we've got a basic bar chart here, but there's a few things I'd like to do this to make this a little bit more presentable. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the colors. So let's say I don't like blue, so I'm going to click on in the marks panel here in the uh, second from the left panel, click on the colors button, and this allows me to choose a, a color for the different um, bars on my chart, whatever color it is that I would like to choose. And I'm going to select a nice uh, bright brown color in here and go with that for the moment. Beside the colors button, there is the a size button. So if you click on that, uh, you've got a slider bar here that allows you to change the size of the bars 
uh, to whatever you desire. You can even have it as a filled chart all the way. I'm going to leave it somewhere in the middle upper side so that the bars are quite thick. And finally here for this port part, if I click on the label button, um, this will allow me to, if I check the show marks label box, is to have the actual values uh, for GDP on the chart listed here at the top of each column. Uh, those ones are a little bit small, so I'm just going to make them a little bit bigger, change it from font size 8 to font size 12, and I'm also going to make them bold so they stand out a little bit more. And just click anywhere to get rid of those um, pop-up panels. Before I finish, there's a, a couple of things I'd like to do with this to make it a little bit more useful and I'll give you an idea of some of the things that you can do with bar charts uh, in uh, Tableau. If you look at the toolbar underneath the menu here at the top, in the center there are three buttons which I'd like to draw your attention to. The first one here allows you to swap this uh, from the uh, layout that you see here, so that where the bars are coming from the bottom, to say the bars coming from the left hand side. So let's click on that button. And you can see um, um, the bars listed here and probably a little bit easier to read. I can scroll over and I can get some details in each country. And you can see that the countries are listed alphabetically by Tableau here. Um, I can also um, do something like a, in, have this in ascending or descending order. So the next button here in the toolbar is the ascending button by GDP. So I'm going to click on that. And we can see that uh, countries with lower GDPs are listed at the top and countries with higher GDPs are listed at the bottom. I can also reverse this, so click on the uh, de descending button uh, on the toolbar and have the higher uh, countries at the top and the lower ones at the bottom. You'll also notice here that one country, Luxembourg, has a, a GDP measure way, way over the others. So if you wanted to, for example, exclude that from your bar chart to see what the rest of the countries look like, if you move your mouse over the bar chart here, you can see a pop-up which shows you the details of Luxembourg and there's an option here uh, to exclude Luxembourg from the chart. And you can see um, possibly a little bit more meaningful um, spread of data with that one outlier removed uh, to show you the uh, descending bar chart here. So before I finish, let me put Luxembourg back in, click on the country menu, choose the filter option. This gives you a filter by country list here. And if I scroll down to this window in the center here, you can see that Luxembourg is checked to be excluded. So just uncheck that and click on OK and Luxembourg is back in on the bar chart. So that's how you create a simple bar chart in Tableau software. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.